Hey guys, welcome to the prelims focus news discussion of 19th August 2017 and uh, the Hindi version of it is also available on my YouTube channel that I have already posted yesterday night only and this I am posting a bit late uh, the reason I have already told you that uh, you know the the, the, the the internet connection is not up to the mark in my region for last past few days after floods right so that's why so anyways let's start it guys uh, the very first news is about national electric mobility mission plan let's see when this uh, what is this mission plan all about guys it was framed in 2013 to achieve the national fuel security by promoting hybrid and electronic vehicles in the countries and it has few objectives is like uh, by 2020 it has an objective of uh, you know selling six to seven million different types of electric and hybrid vehicles and also to you know uh, for two point two to two point five million tons of liquid fuel saving it will lead to because fuel is one of the factor due to which the the, 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 the balance of payment crisis is huge in our country right I mean there is probability of you know uh, increasing this balance of payment crisis all right and trade deficits are also huge with you know Arab countries so if uh, you know this uh, uh, like this plan will be continued in and uh, this plan, plan will uh, you know achieve its objective in India then what we will do like uh, this 2.2 to 2.5 million tons of liquid fuel saving will be there which is considered a very good step indeed and there will be a decrease in 1.3 to 1.5 percent in carbon dioxide emission which is one of the factor of you know increment of greenhouse gases next is about trifed celebrates uh, world honeybee day guys so the theme of this year's celebration of world honeybees days was save indian honeybee so let's see about the usefulness of these honeybees what are the usefulness guys it is used in the pollination of crops thereby increasing the income of farmers and beekeepers right farmers and beekeepers are directly dependent on it means whosoever is included in this horticulture uh, type so they are directly included in bees and bee are one of bees are one of the you know uh, major factor which leads to pollination of crop now pollination what it does is like uh, it takes the like these bees are take takes the pollen from one flower and put it in other flower and lead to fertilization right so it at one hand it lead to fertilization and at the second hand it uh, you know the, that bee takes away the sweetest part from those flowers and you know uh, accumulate in these type of honey bees right so beekeepers are also getting but getting benefited because they are getting uh, you know honey right so this was about this next is it will it also i mean the usefulness of honeybee i'm discussing here they also provide honey and other beehive products and those products are given and you can read it about them next is it serves as a lively source of livelihood for the rural poor guys yeah it is very important it source uh, because i've already told you that uh, farmers and beekeepers are directly dependent on it right and the import imp uh, the important inputs for sustainable development of agriculture and horticulture Anna? so this was about this uh, trifid celebrates world honeybee day now let's see what is trifid Anna, then we, you will get the holistic picture of what this uh, celebration is all about right now tri the full form of trifid stands tribal cooperative marketing De development federation of india limited and it is an apex organization at national level and functioning which is uh, coming under the ministry of tribal affairs just remember it guys they might ask you directly this question that under which ministry it comes right so though if if this full form will be, will be given you will just you know very clearly jot down because the very first word is tribal so you can you know guess also that it is coming under the ministry of tribal affairs but still you know you should remember it and what uh, this is the work of this cyphered institution it serves the interest of tribal people for their socio-economic benefit through self-help group means uh, the, those tribals who are directly associated with either self-help group or NGOs on state level development corporation or forest level development corporation so it what it does is it helps them to you know upliftment of their socio-economic benefits now guys one more important point was given in the article so i thought of jotting it down and that is becoming very important because whenever you write answer main mains answer related to tribal thing then you know you if you remember these facts then it will be you know 
like an add-on to your answer right so let's see about 90 percent of the scheduled tribes of the countries lives in and around forest area and the forest provides 60 percent of the food and medicines need for tribals right so these are the very important factual points guys and 40 percent of their income from minor forest produce are mostly directly coming from the honey production all right so this was about it next is make dam was in news guys because the Supreme Court has asked the Karnataka and Tamil Nadu government to envision the Mekedatu Dam product as a facility to store excess water from the Karnataka, which could be, you know, at the time of need or at the time of lean season, be discharged to the Tamil Nadu, right? So basically, Karnataka government is, uh, you know, trying to make uh, uh, a Mekedatu Dam in, you know, this Kaveri River to store water. So that's why Supreme Court has said that is there any provision in which you know in lean seasons or the seasons in which the tamil nadu government need water so through this make a datu dam you know they can you know impart those water to uh, tamil nadu is there any provision so these are the talks going on in supreme court as of now so we'll see the as, as the question i mean as the topic you know takes uh, a new leap so we'll discuss about it later Miss the major takeaway was the where is Mekedatu Dam project constructing, right? So you have to just remember this. Next is Harit Diwali, Swast Diwali, guys. So let's see the context of it. I undertake various activities to create awareness. I mean, this is a kind of campaign, right? which is undertaking various activities to create awareness among various stakeholders and encourage people to participate in combating air pollution because it is considered that the crackers being burst in during Diwali's are one of the major reason of you know uh, the, 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 the air pollution right because it uh, you know it leaves harmful chemicals in air so if that harmful chemicals is being you know inhaled by persons then you know uh, there is probability of being sick right so that's why this is kind of campaign that is Harit Diwali and Swastha Diwali. So under this, they want to you know create awareness among the uh, among the people that what are the negative impact of these you know bursting crackers and urging people not to burst crackers this Diwali, right? That's why they have said it Harit Diwali means eco-friendly Diwali. So it is conducted by under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, and the major aim is to do away with the excessive bursting of crackers. Because under Diwali, I mean, whenever people burst crackers, then there, you know, occurs air pollution as well as noise pollution. So, so it will get rid of both the pollution type, right? Next is climate change cost uh, India 10 billion a year. Guys, guys, it was in news because parliamentary committee report has came up in which they have said that 9 to 10 billion annual uh, cost is being you know charged from the government's exchequer due to tackle these uh, you know uh, disastrous activities like uh, cyclone uh, earthquake storm surge uh, tsunami flood blah 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 all right and the major cost of goes in flood so it is you know kind of uh, you know like a factual data factual trivia which you can you know incorporate as a folder in your main point also so just read about it this is a very simple news next is no data from china on brahmaputra guys india has accused beijing of not sharing the water related data of himalayan rivers this time and himalayan those two himalayan rivers are satlaj and brahmaputra because they first pass through china then enter india right so that's why uh, the indian government has said that though um, you know in 2006 india and china has set up a mechanism which is called india china expert level mechanism under which there were provisions of sharing hydrological data between the two countries i mean um, that uh, the chinese government will share those hydrological data with india but at this time when there is uh, you know a standoff between india and uh, you know uh, china at the doglam plateau they have not shared this data so it is kind of indication that is giving that at the time of distress you know china might use these kind of weapons uh, like these kind of not uh, lethal weapons i would say but uh, you know non lethal weapon Hana, they can use this kind of non uh, lethal weapon to you know uh, create havoc in india right so because if they would have been uh, you know uh, shared the data then we could have been much our administration could have been you know uh, rescued the people who are were trapped in flood in assam region right so that's why they are telling that it is one of the uh, like humanitarian crisis that have been caused by the uh, you know negligence of chinese government in india right 
नेक्स्ट इज ट्रैकिंग एंड डेटा रिले सैटेलाइट गाइज नाशा सक्सेसफुली प्लेस इट्स नेक्स्ट जनरेशन ट्रैकिंग एंड डेटा रिले सैटेलाइट विच इज कॉल्ड टी डी आर एस दैट इज अ फुल फॉर्म ऑफ वॉट आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस नाउ राइट ना इट इज बेसिकली सीरीज ऑफ नेक्स्ट जनरेशन कम्युनिकेशन सैटेलाइट विच विल बी पुट इन जियो सिंक्रोनस ऑर्बिट दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड जियो सिंक्रोनस कम्युनिकेशन सैटेलाइट एंड वॉट आर द एम ऑफ इट इट विल प्रोवाइड नेविगेशन एंड हाई डेटा रेट कम्युनिकेशन टू द इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन नासा हबल टेलीस्कोप रॉकेट्स ब्ला 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 ना इट विल ऑल्सो अलाउ द रिसर्चर्स टू कंटिन्यू रिसीव एंड ट्रांसमिशन डेटा well into the next decade means this is all about the communication satellite thing only right and uh, if they'll ask at all then they'll ask that you know which space organization uh, is has sent this data uh, this uh, this you know a satellite right and they can also ask that what kind of satellite is this right so this is a communication satellite so these kind of you know trivia which are the thing which you have to actually remember to you know deal with such kind of questions next is about artificial womb guys uh, just see this uh, can you see this uh, sack right it is kind of artificial womb under which a lamb has been you know checked whether this artificial womb is working or not see they have made i mean scientists have made this artificial womb because there were there are many cases of premature birth coming throughout the world not only in india right so in case of premature birth what happens is like their the mortality rate of children become very high now if they are giving such uh, means facilitating some such, such kind of artificial womb then you know that uh, baby who's born before birth can be put in this artificial womb right so it will be con it is considered a very you know uh, technological breakthrough and uh, it is telling that you know uh, that the mortality rate could be reduced in future Uh, so let's see about a bit uh, factual things about artificial womb artificial artificial womb raises hope for premature babies and it is kind of incubating health baby lamb because baby lamb i have already shown in you uh, you in that picture so the uh, uh, incubation has been provided to that baby lamb and the experiment has been totally successful right and uh, it is a basically a healthy and infection free condition Uh, which in which amniotic fluid bath is given ha right? na and with artificial placenta what is placenta that is a biological term totally i mean the when the baby is kept in you know inside the mother's womb then what happens is through placenta there is a you know cord connected uh, through which the baby gets the food and all stuffs right so that kind of artificial placenta is given in this uh, also right to for to allow baby to you know take food and other things and amniotic fluid bath is given means because when uh, the baby is inside the embryo of the mother then of it she is under the uh, some kind of fluid right so that uh, that fluid bath is given i mean the the same uh, environment is given in this you know uh, this, this 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 artificial womb also right and the membrane oxygenator see oxygenator what is this oxygenator is i'll show you this one is oxygenator through which the heart pumps blood which flows through the un uh, umbilical cord uh, to an oxygenator and then back right so means oxygenator th this uh, this is due to the f uh, you know uh, ensure the flowing of blood right so this was about it guys uh, if you are new to more research on it then you can surely google it because google is awesome thing and uh, the main points i've already discussed right so yeah this was about it we'll meet in next class till then bye bye thank you for listening to me guys Thank you very much